I'm going to show you a little bit about the tornado last night in in uh, Noonan and Franklin in that area and what it looked like on radar and some of the things we looked for um, and a little bit of the confusion I had last night as well. Um, I have my radar in a split screen mode. I'm showing two different radar products. On the left side is reflectivity and even in your free apps, um, that's sort of the product you get by default. You're used to seeing those colors like the blues, greens, yellow, orange, red. Sometimes you get purple and pink like that. That's hail. Um, and I will show you what a tornado signature looks like on reflectivity. On the right side, you may be less familiar with it. That is velocity. And if you've ever seen velocity, it may have been on the news and it was probably when a tornado was happening and they were showing you rotation. Uh, what you're looking at is green is wind moving toward the radar site and red is wind moving away from the radar site. And for example, that hole right there is the radar site. Um, so you can see it sort of splits the wind field there. Um, but what that also can indicate to you uh, is a tornado. Um, you may hear them say, when green meets red, get under the bed. That's uh, because if it if green and red are meeting very tightly in a small space, that's an area of tight rotation, and that's a, that's a tornado. Now, it looked a little confusing to me last night. I didn't exactly see that. Uh, what threw me off is that little dot of blue, if you see that on the right side. Uh, just ignore the left side getting circled too, but look at the what's circled on the right side. And if I turn on the inspector tool, uh, it's 106 mile per hour wind. Let me cycle through and find, because there was some, yeah, there was, uh, there were points where it reached I got it to say 117 or something. There we go, at one point. Uh, so if I undo the inspector tool and zoom out, um, look at the left side on the reflectivity. When we're looking for a tornado on reflectivity radar, we call it a hook echo. And you can clearly see that right there. If you can imagine what you're looking at, you're looking down on this and a, if you were looking down on a tornado in the middle of heavy rain, you wouldn't see much of the tornado, probably. Well, kind of imagine it. You're seeing the heavy rain getting wrapped around. You know, it's rotating, and you're seeing the rain getting wrapped around that rotation. Um, so that is an indication of a tornado right there. It's called a hook echo. Now, if we look at the right side, there's actually green meeting red. And it's a little offset there, but there's our little section of very high rotation, very high speed winds, 117 miles per hour right there. Um, so that was the tornado. And let me switch off here. Let's make this less confusing. Let me put it to one screen. And I'm going to show you another radar product called correlation coefficient. Now, what the correlation coefficient does is it looks at the whole wind field, or the whole area, and it says how similar or different is this. Um, so that area of reds, purples, it's all sort of the same shade. That's where the clouds are. Um, the blue speckly thing there, it gets a little noisy right near the radar site, but blue basically means that's not where the clouds are. Like, you can tell the reddish areas where the storm clouds were. Um, and it's sort of hard to see because it's on the edge of the blue anyway. But if you look right here, that is actually, let me see, see that. Uh, let me undo it. That is actually a debris ball. Um, the I told you the color means how similar or different all of this is from each other. And all of this stuff over here, this is all cloud, that's all cloud, that's all cloud. 
because it's all the same color roughly. And then you have then you have this area right here. That's debris being sucked into a tornado. So if you would advance that radar loop, you can watch when the tornado touches down, which is about right there. And you can tell, so, although it is a little difficult to tell, like I said, because you've got the blue on the edge anyway, but you can often tell exactly when the tornado touches down and it was lofting debris into the air. So uh, that was the that was the Noonan and Franklin area tornado from yesterday.